Good afternoon, George Lemieux from the Gunster Law Firm. It is Tuesday, March 24th, just afternoon, and we're here to give you a daily update on issues concerning the COVID-19 epidemic and how it's impacting Florida businesses. Uh, we've provided for you on our website at gunster.com forward slash COVID-19, a lot of information, including our webinar from last week, where you can go to learn more. Here's your daily update. Right now, we have 1,412 confirmed cases of people in Florida who've contracted COVID-19. Unfortunately, uh, 18 deaths in conjunction with the pandemic that we are all dealing with. We talked yesterday on our daily update, a lot, a lot of closures around the state. You can go to our website, gunster.com forward slash COVID-19. You can see the executive orders from the governor, as well as what's taken place with orders issued by Miami-Dade County and Palm Beach County and get the most up-to-date information. Importantly, the governor issued an executive order last evening, executive order 80 of the year, which says that people who are coming into Florida by air from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut have to self-quarantine for 14 days. It gives the power of the Department of Health to work with local law enforcement officials to make sure that people actually do quarantine once they get here. So that is a new development. Also today, the governor has asked for a major disaster declaration for Florida. What does that mean to you for your businesses? It means there could be more funding for unemployment insurance. It could also mean more food aid, community disaster loans. So hopefully that declaration will be coming from Washington soon. Also in Washington, D.C., uh, U.S. Uh, congressional members right now are meeting to hammer out the final details of this almost $2 trillion package, an extraordinary amount of spending to shore up the economy during this very difficult time. Hundreds of millions of dollars for certain targeted industries like the airline industry, direct payments to uh, Americans, uh, up to $1,200 for folks, $500 per child. Our own Senator Marco Rubio has been very involved in hundreds of millions of dollars of this package going to businesses, to be able to keep employees on their payrolls. As soon as we get the details of the final bill, we'll do another update so we can cover that with you. But that could pass as early as today. So if you have any other questions, go to our gunster.com forward slash COVID-19 site. You will find information there from our webinar last week, covers employment issues, insurance issues, contract issues with force majeure clauses, act of God clauses, and a lot of information that you need to navigate this, plus our daily updates are posted there as well. And we're here to answer any questions you have. You can email me at George Lemieux, G Lemieux at gunster.com, and I'll try to get you to the right person as we help to navigate through these difficult times. We're going to get through this. Uh, keep working, Florida. Be safe, be well, and we'll talk to you soon.